Hello Power Ranger fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the Power Rangers Torque Megazord from the Power Rangers RPM series. Um, yeah, you probably haven't ever seen these Zords before because they were only made for the Micro line. For some reason, they thought they needed more Zords. Uh, you got the Panther Zord, the uh, Condor Zord, and the Fox Zord. And I don't even know what they're exactly... This is obviously a race car. This could be a truck... Uh, like a tractor trailer, perhaps? And this... Some kind of sports military car? I have no idea. No idea. But there they are. Now, to combine them into the Torque Megazord, you take the Fox, you split it almost in half. This top piece will hold it together. So you have, um, legs. And then you take the Panther, take off its gun, oops, and, yep, yeah, pull it apart. Peg this part underneath, and then peg that into the legs. So now you got a torso. Take the condor, split it in half, get rid of the head sword, and they do mold in hands, which is surprising. And you just peg them onto the side, and finally flip up the head, and that's it. The torque. Megazord in all its unimpressive glory. It's obviously just a cobbled together Zord that they decided to throw in just to make more money because it obviously it, it's just boring. And look at the head. The head is so bland. A gen generic looking robot head with a green, just a painted green visor. That's it. Compared to G6 formation, it's pretty underwhelming. And you also have some accessories, so that's it. something. You can peg the gun into either arm, the holes and the tires will fit, and then the head sword goes into the hand. So there you go. At least it has some weapons. I guess that's something. Now also in the pack, you have a red cat truck. It is a cat. I'm looking at the Power Rangers wiki page just to figure out what exactly these things are because they don't exactly resemble... But like, uh, that's a panther. Sure. Anyways, it doesn't do anything with this, thing, with this guy at all. Until... You bring in the frog, a uh, monster truck, and the cobra race car, I guess. And with these three zords, you can make another zord. Another mega zord. But it doesn't even have a name that I know of. It's just a mega zord. So let's do it. Take the frog, split it in half. These are now lower legs. Take the cobra, pull it apart. The uh, purple parts are upper legs, they'll slide right in there. And then this little piece, the head, will go into here for like a stomach. And then the frog will go up here for the chest. Oops. And the little cat car truck will separate. It becomes the arms, but look, no molded hands this time. Very, very boring. And they just peg into the side here. And then you flip up the head. And that's it. A little Megazord without a name. Anyways, it does have a head, which is very detailed, surprisingly, for being a non-existing uh, Zord. Compared to the Torque Megazord, especially, it's uh, very detailed. It looks like it was taken from something else. I don't know. Anyways, that's about it for this guy. Unless you looked at the instructions and realized that he is supposed to combine with this guy. Oh boy. Yeah, they go together. Unfortunately. Basically, I'm going to break this 
guy apart. But I'll keep these two paths together. This guy can keep his upper body, but the bottom is going to change. The legs are all of a sudden dorky feet. And there's holes down here, so I'm sure you can figure out where this is going. So while I thought that these were dumb feet, these ones win because they don't even separate all the way. Then you take the halves of the cat truck, and you're supposed to peg these into here. I think it made me look a little better up here. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter where it goes. It's going to be stupid anyways. Probably be better like that. Just because it doesn't get in the way, but it really doesn't matter. And then you take the cobra head, and it's going to go in here. There's a second hole underneath here, so you still have the middle one free. All right. And then take this thing, and it's going to peg underneath. Like that. And then there's a hole left over back here, and this thing is just going to go into the back. It's not used anymore. And then you peg the whole thing together. And oh my god, what the hell is that? This thing is ridiculous. And you might be thinking, that's wrong. Well, it's been a while since I combined it, but this is what I remember, and this is as stupid as it looked. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, but it was in the instructions, and it is ridiculous on every single level. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the three Zords I have. These two, I totally recommend. I if you can get them for they're I think normally like ten to twelve dollars. I paid five for each. So if you can get them for like five to eight dollars, I'd say go for it because they're pretty fun. This thing is a piece of crap, and. Don't even bother, because I just got it really for the extra part to make the little guy to see what he looked like. But it's not even worth that, the little Zord. It's just stupid. Now, I have seen pictures of the other two Zords you need to make the G12 formation, the abomination known as the G12 formation. I haven't seen it anywhere in stores or online to buy yet. If I see it, and it's a good price, I might pick them up just to see what it would look like. And I've also seen the Musha version of the Octane Megazord, so I wouldn't mind getting that either. But as is, it's a nice uh, Zord, I have to say, for the price, if, if you find it for a decent price. I wouldn't spend over $10 for uh, one of those sets. So that's about it. Look out for that guy. Run from that guy. And I'll see you at the next review.